All right. So this is Marshmallow right here. This is the person. Helmet and Chris Comstock, dressed in a white marshmallow suit, was taking oh, a picture. There he oh, is in the mirror. The story, of course, oh. was quickly removed from Instagram, but the internet remembers. It's too everything. late. What is up guys, your boy Real G. I'm back with another reaction video called Seven Famous People Who Finally Showed Their Faces. Yeah, that's what it means. This is seven famous people, you know. They're always, they're always hiding their faces. So, they finally showed their face right here. So we're gonna find out who are these people. Alright? If you're new to my channel, subscribe. Don't forget to smash the like button. With that being said, let's get it. Also surprised their fans, which can be very, very difficult. It's not surprising that some artists resort to a variety of tricks. For example, they hide their faces. And that fans are ready mellow. to do all kinds of things to find out the real identity of their this favorite artists. Mellow. In today's yeah. video, we will lift the veil of secrecy and show you exactly so, how um, popular um, artists look without their masks. Let's get it Marshmallow. on. Yo, show his face. One of the world's biggest DJ music producer. Marshmallow. Marshmallow. He's a great, you know. Marshmallow was he's a great the list of the best DJ. DJs in the world. The best. According to DJ magazine in 2017 and 2018. Inspired by other masked DJs like Dead Mouse and Daft Punk, Marshmallow hides his face behind a huge marshmallow helmet at every concert and in every video. However, despite his anonymity, so he never showed his face. Never. Nobody knows who is he. So we're gonna we're gonna find out who he is now. I don't know, but we're gonna see what's gonna happen. I don't know how his to show work his gained face. international recognition back in twenty uh, ninja when he began releasing remixes of singles by other DJs and also released his own single alone. Of course, along with the popularity came a huge interest in the person hiding under the mask with a cute face. Yes. But this is not Marshmallow. It's me. I am Marshmallow. In 2016, no. at the Electronic Music Festival, Electric Daisy Carnival. Yo, is this Marshmallow? This is not Marshmallow. I don't think so. Yo, I don't think so. Marshmallow promised to show his face to the public, and he kept his promise. When he removed the Marshmallow helmet, everyone said, Dutch DJ Tiesto. The video went viral and spread over the internet in a matter of days. However, later... Yo, this is another person again claiming that he is Marshmallow. I don't know. I don't. We don't know anymore who is exactly Marshmallow. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. Later it turned out that this out, was bro. just a prank by Marshmallow and Tiesto. But uh, that's a prank. he's hiding his face behind the smiling Marshmallow? Well, the most popular version is that Marshmallow is American oh. DJ Chris Comstock, also known Cream. as Dot Com. Because Chris they Comstock. have the same birth dates, same tattoos, a similar body, and identical musical styles. Oh. You think it's just a coincidence? Oh. Well, okay. in an interview with Katie Corey, musicians okay. say more that's than Marshmallow. from Chris during an interview and called him Marshmallow. And, uh, is that right now? That yeah, Marshmallow. Oh, Marshmallow. See that name on the screen? Yeah. Looks like it actually says Chris. And in March 2017, DJ Feed Me accidentally revealed who Marshmallow is by posting one story on Instagram. He was posing wearing the famous Marshmallow hat. All right, this is Marshmallow. This is Marshmallow. Look at him right there. So this DJ, you just went to the mirror with a phone filming with it with this marshmallow thing right here the mask so the main marshmallow is in the pack right here with phone all right got you got him got him <laughs> all right so this marshmallow right here this is the 
person. Helmet and Chris Comstock, dressed in a white marshmallow suit, was taking a oh, picture. There he oh, is in the mirror. The story, of course, oh, was quickly removed from Instagram, but the internet remembers. It's too everything. late. Internet. Daft it's too late. When it comes Daft to punk. masked musicians, many people think about Daft Punk first. The French musical electronic duo, formed in 1993 by Thomas Bangalter and Guy Manuel de Homem Cristo, today is a kind of cult. In the 90s, they often appeared in public with black bags on their heads and preferred to buy funny Halloween masks for photo shoots. Over time, their style changed, Yo, and today this... the duo looks like a pair of futuristic robots. Yo, Specially man. designed suits include intricate this is cool. helmets with LED lighting, as well as gloves with metal fingers. And even though the paparazzi have managed to catch the faces of Daft Punk, oh, that's there, two of them right there are more than a dozen photos. None of them are official, except for the very, very old ones, obviously. But why did the duo decide to hide their faces at all? In an interview oh, with the CA, one half of Daft Punk, Thomas Van Galta, said, We don't believe in the star system. We want the focus to be on the music. If we have to create an image, it must be an artificial image. That combination that was the, that was cool though. That was cool. Star system. It's not a compromise. Yeah, we know. It sounds confusing, but don't forget that these helmets are just incredibly cool. Seems to be a serious reason to wear them. Mike Candies. Mike Candies. Swiss DJ and producer Mike Candies became widely known Even Mike Candy? to hit La Serenada, released in 2008. And thanks to his mask, of course, not every day you can see a giant smiley face. When Mike was just starting out as a DJ, he wanted his shows to be different. Mike tried to work with Keith. You know, I don't know. I don't, I don't understand why these people would hide in their face. Even though hiding in your face can resolve the problem, I know that Maybe they are trying to protect themselves, you know, and their privacy, so that people, you know, people can disturb them. Or paparazzi can't even disturb them on the way while going on daily basis. Let's mean, I mean, daily basis, yeah. I hope that's the main reason why they are just hiding their faces. Because after the show, they can remove the mask and walk around peacefully. It's, it's a good decision, but it's not uh, it's not comfortable, you know. A DJ with mask, with this kind of mask, man, it's, it's uncomfortable, but um, that's what it is. Keyboards and samplers, but that was too difficult to arrange. And then he decided Look at to focus man. the attention you can't of the see very well. on his image. At first, the DJ created a few prototypes. They're heads of dragons, aliens, different animals, but none of them, well, none of them looked cool enough. And besides, they didn't reflect the nature of his music. But then Mike came across an old video he created based on one of the remixes. On this record, the DJ and the crowd wore smiley faces. Mike immediately went online to find out where he could buy one one of those masks, but didn't find anything. So he just made it himself with the help of tools and a large amount of glue. Oh. However, the DJ's not feeling particularly comfortable inside the helmet. No, it's he not sees comfortable almost at all. nothing and he it's is not nothing as well. But Mike says he's just used to it. By hiding behind a smiley face, he seems to change his personality. And the reaction of the fans to the mask proves once again that it all makes sense. Dead Mouse. One day, Joel Thomas Zimmerman, Canadian DJ and music producer, was changing the graphics card on his computer. After disassembling it, Joel found a dead mouse in the system unit. It's not clear how it got there and how much time it had spent in there, but after dead that, mouse. Zimmerman changed his nickname from Halcyon441 to Halcyon441. Dead Mouse, 441. the electronic musician who now sells out whole stadiums in America decided to choose a mask to match the name. The key moment in Joel's path to fame was getting his track faxing Berlin in the hands of Pete Tong in February 2007. Since then, Dead Mouse has been releasing digital singles one by one, and also oh. created his own label, oh. Mousetrap Recordings, and made it to at least 15 dance oh, compilations throughout the year. In addition, Joel was spotted in judicial opposition with the Walt Disney Company. In 2014, the company sued the DJ over the similarity. Oh, Disney Company. They sued him because of this mask. Just for mask? Come on, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Let's Let him be. Let him be. Mickey Mouse's head. Come on, Disney. We just sue somebody because of mask. 
Oh, come on, it's just a mouse. But why does the DJ wear yeah, a mask? Yeah, just a mask, Even though but... everyone knows his face. Joel himself said that the reason is that he doesn't like DJs and desires to distance himself from them. Dead Mouse doesn't see anything interesting in making live tracks and hopes that these button pushers will die out like dinosaurs. Cassette. Now let's move oh, to cassette. Scandinavia and talk about the Swedish DJ duo Kazette, founded in 2009. No, Ever heard of them? You probably saw these guys with cassettes. Yo, they are having a, the band no, their was mask is just a cassette. Alexander Bjorklund and Sebastian oh. Furer. Their oh. faces can be easily googled, by the way. Even at concerts, they don't always hide. But when it comes to the masks, the fact is that these Swedish musicians are famous for their unusual costumes. Justifying okay. the name of the band, they perform with oh, that's cool. cassettes on their heads. That's the duo they have cassettes on their head. The release of the single Beam Me Up from their debut album Eject 2012. The next wave of success took over them with the release of Sleepless oh. in 2014. Oh. This track even topped the Swedish charts. According to the DJs themselves, the idea with the cassettes belonged to their manager, and it was inspired by Daft Punk. Who else but Daft Punk? And although helmets matching the name of the band are a pretty cool concept, wearing them throughout the performances is simply impossible. After 30 minutes, the huge cassette sets begin to seem heavy and they press on the neck and it <laughs> really? suddenly becomes hard to breathe. This can cause dizziness, yeah. so musicians prefer not to take any risks. Besides, Sebastian wears glasses, which he can't use under the mask, but they have to endure all the inconveniences. Alright guys, this is the seven famous people who finally show their faces. This is crazy. You know, they always, I don't know, I don't know what's going on, but um, they always hide in their face. They always hide in their face. All right, guys, this is the seven famous people who finally showed their faces you know they always hide in their faces now their faces no more we all know who they are where they're from and what they do and where they go that's what it is yo if you enjoy this reaction don't forget to smash the like button subscribe share my videos and Turn on the notification button. Peace out.